Hey everybody, this is the second part to our three part series on building a no tap with Flutter and SQLite. So here we have the project from our last video. So now we're going to implement the logic of creating new nodes and then later displaying those nodes in our list view. We're going to use for that inherited widgets because that is for this use case scenario uh, pretty much the simplest way. We're going to keep all the nodes pretty much in memory. So that means when we restart the app all the nodes that we created are going to be gone. And in the next video we're going to implement saving to the database and pulling out from the database with the SQLite library for Flutter. Okay, so for state management, we're going to use inherited widget, which is the simplest solution for sharing state between two widgets. And we're going to share state between our note list and our note. So let's create that inherited widget. Let's first create a folder called inherited widgets. And now let's create the note inherited widget in it. All right, now let's create the class for our note inherited widget. Okay, now we have some boilerplate down. Let's now import the material library. And that's pretty much it for having an empty inherited widget. Now, this widget is going to hold the state, which is going to be a list of nodes. So let's create that. And each of these nodes is going to be like a map that has the title and the text of the note. Something like this. And now let's just copy this over so we can have some nodes to get started with and add some random text all right three notes should be enough for us to get started and here this update should notify should return true whenever this inherited widget notifies all the widgets below it to redraw themselves so we're going to say that old widget dot notes is not equal to the current notes and that should get the job done okay now that we have all of this down since we're going to wrap other widgets in this note inherited widget. Let's add a constructor where we get the child of that widget. So, okay, that's nice. Now let's go to our main.dart and wrap this with our note inherited widget. And it won't have a named parameter, but the standard required parameter. And now we can start using our inherited widget. So let's go to our note list.dart file. And first of all, turn it into a stateful widget. And now let's create a getter for our notes. Let's go to our notes inherited widget, actually note inherited widget. And our notes returns a list of map. So here we have a list of map of two strings and that's going to be a getter for notes and we are going to access our note inherited widget with this off method that we defined over here so we're going to go note inherited widget we should import this but for some reason it does not let me to do it so automatically Let's just type everything out so we can get this to work. Oh, this, when we are defining a getter, this should not be equal, but like this arrow sign. And now let's import our note inherited widget. And yes, we should get out the list and not the widget itself. Okay, that's nice. And now we have our now we have our list view, which now has the set item count of our notes length. And to each of our note title and note text stuff, we should pass in the title and the text that we're going to be basically displaying. So let's define a constructor, set this to title, make the final string title. And we are also going to do this for our note text. We're just going to remain this to be text. And this is going to be note text constructor. Okay, and now we're going to set this not to be some title, but our title that we passed in in the constructor. And it's going to be same over here. We're going to remove this and set this to text. Okay, now 
we have some errors we have to pass in our title and our text and we're getting the index of the item that's going to be created in the list view over here so we're going to use that we're going to take from our notes over here and we're going to say at index dot actually not a dot since this is a map at, use this title thing and the text thing I think we named it yeah so we named it so we named it title over here and it's title over here and we named it text over here and it's going to be text over here. I think we have enough code that we can now run it to see if any of this works. So let's just go F5. I'm going to launch a device and let's just wait for the app to run. Alright, so here we have our app up and running and we can see our inherited widget is doing its job because previously we just had this say some title and all of our text and now you can see the notes are identical to what we have in our inherited widget and now we should implement adding the notes from this screen so let's go to our note.dart file and as you can see over here we have our two text fields where we should input our note title and our note text and lower over here when we are saving this thing we just pop the screen and that's pretty much it. But now we're going to do a few extra things. First of all, we need to find a way to retrieve the note title and the note text once we press the save button. So we're going to do that using the text controller. But first of all, let me convert this to a stateful widget. So now we're going to create two text controllers, which we're going to connect to our text fields. And through the text controller, we're going to get the text from the text fields. Okay, now let's create a final text controller, actually text editing controller, and we're going to say title controller, and we're going to also say text controller. And we're going to instantiate them over here with the constructor. And now we have to connect these and we're going to use the controller field on our text fields. And since this is the title, we're going to use the title controller. And over here, we're going to use the text controller. Okay, so now we can retrieve our note title and our note text from our text fields. So the first thing we're going to implement is the creation of the notes. So we're going to go if note mode and now we need to make this note mode public since it's over here in the widget so let me rename that and now it's going to be note mode is equal to note mode adding we're going to first get the title which is our title controller dot text and same for our text we're going to use the text controller again the text and now what we're going to do is use the same getter that we used in our note list. So cut that and put it over here. Import the notes inherited widget and use our notes. And now using this getter, we're going to add new notes. So it's going to be notes.add and we're going to create a new map, which is going to say title and text. And this should work properly. Let me save this. This is going to reload the app. Let me just, for the sake of it, restart the whole app. And now that we click Add, let's say A, B, C, D, E, F. And when we save, it added the note properly over here. So let's try that again. Say A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Save it. And here is our note down here. But now let me restart the app to see what happens. And here our app restarted and as you can see all the notes that were added were lost. That's because they are kept in memory in the inherited widget. That's why we need a database and we're going to do that as I said in the next video. But I just wanted to demonstrate what happened. Okay and now we should implement the editing of our notes. So. So the thing is we need to somehow identify the notes that we're editing. So let's go over here. Else if widget dot note mode is equal to note mode dot editing. 
and we use this title and text but now we need to find a way to get the node that we're editing and we can add the id to all of our nodes and find them by id that's probably what we're going to do in the next part when we're imp implementing the database but here i'm going to use a little trick whenever we're opening this node widget we're going to pass in the index of that node so let's go final integer index and then we're going to use it down here when we're saving to say notes at widget dot index is equal to this edited note so what we just did here when we're adding the note we use the standard add method of the list class where we add a new node to the list but over here we get the current node that we're editing using the index from the list and basically saying that this is now equal to the node. I hope you get what I'm saying over here. I don't know if I explained it well. But now in our note list, we need to pass in that index and that's going to be simple since we're getting this index over here and just going to say here index. And now that I save all of this, let me restart the app and go over here maybe. Oh, and yes. We also need to display the note title and the note text of the current note. Okay, so now we should set the title and the text of our notes. And we're again going to do that using the title and the text controller. Now we can, we can try to do this using the init state method and set that over here going like title controller dot text is equal to notes at index dot at title but this is not going to work because we cannot use any inherited widgets in a certain widget uh, before or during the init state method so let me save that and show you what i mean when we click over here it says inherit from element which is this this method i think inherit from widget of exact type yeah inherit from widget of exact type so this is our off method says that that cannot be called before the init state is completed. So we're going to use the method that is executed right after the init state. And that's going to be the did change dependencies method. So we're now going to set our title and our text over here. So now this should work. Let me save this. And yeah, when we go over here and displays these letters and now let me remove all of this and type in something a b c d and save this and now this was successfully edited the one last thing we should implement is our delete button which should just delete the note from the list so now let's go to find our delete button over here in this mess and it's going to be our discard button is going to stay the same it's just going to go back to the previous page without doing anything and our delete button is going to do a very simple thing which is just notes dot remove at and that's going to be our index and now let's save this and go to edit this note click delete and now that note is not over here anymore so that's i think pretty much it for all our state management implementation oh but here we have an error yeah, we didn't pass in the second argument that we needed and here we'll just pass in null because we're not going to use that index when we're adding a new node. So let me save this and restart the app. And now when we go to add a new node, it says invalid arguments maybe because our index is an integer and it cannot be null i don't know let me try to add a zero go back to the previous page and it works and add oh but add now does not work and that's because we're setting our title and our text to be from some index anyway even though we are adding the note so we can just go if widget.note mode is equal to note mode dot editing and wait a second and do it and set our text just then and i think now we can pass in null 
and now save this and click add and now this works so let's see if our saving works it does we can delete this we can delete this we can edit our note and that's pretty much it here we implemented all the state management for our in-memory notes in the next video we're going to add the database library and use that for saving our notes and that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.